How can companies exploit social media for advertising purposes? Social media and social advertising has been one of the biggest topi- topics in the last uh, few years. Uh, I mean, the rise of Facebook in in the world and in Denmark, especially, has uh, has of course uh, put a lot of a uh, lot of uh, pressure on uh, on uh, using that media. The the travel I have seen for advertisers uh, is going from what I would say from fun to serious business. So in the beginning, everybody wanted to be on Facebook. We we wanted to have a Facebook page because everybody else had one. But we didn't think about what it should do for our business. Uh, and and the the thing we see right now is that we we look at how we can use social media to actually do a difference and how we can make money on being on Facebook or other social media. So I mean, from fun to serious business, uh, from just being there to actually getting something out of it. There's there's two uh, big areas uh, where we use uh, social uh, media in our in our uh, advice to to our clients. The first one is social advertising, so that that's more like display advertising just on Facebook or other uh, social media. And the other one is actually using social media as a platform where you put content and you have a dialogue with the, with your customers. So that's more about in, engaging uh, and having. Um, a platform where you can put your content and having a different dialogue with your consumers uh, compared to to your own website. Uh, you can also use uh, the social media to get a lot of insights. So actually, social media can feed into the data uh, that can be used in other media because people li- li- leave different tra- traces on social media and people give a lot of information about who they are and what they like and, and uh, what they want. So you can use it as an advertising platform, you can use it as a content platform, and you can use it as a, a very important tool for gaining more insight about your customer audience. So for advertising, for content and, and, and dialogue, and also as a tool for, for getting to know your audience better. Yeah. Uh, and that's just Facebook. Yeah. What do you see as, uh, as the most important uh, social medias to be present today? Well, talking talking about Denmark, uh, Denmark is a Facebook country. So, if you're talking ab- about business to consumer advertising, Facebook is the place to be. You start on Facebook. This is uh, in general. Of course, it can be different the target groups where other uh, other social media would uh, would be appropriate. But in general, business to consumer, that's Facebook in Denmark. Business to business, uh, that's LinkedIn in Denmark. So, I'd say if, if if I should say two, it's Facebook and it's LinkedIn. Facebook to consumers and uh, LinkedIn to business to business uh, messages. And looking outside the borders, what are the trends there? There's a lot of uh, different trends. Uh, the, the, one of the biggest trends is, is uh, social media going mobile. So when you see Facebook buying WhatsApp uh, to a very, very high uh, amount of money, it's because uh, the social media is more and more moving online. We see this and has been seeing it in a couple of years in Denmark as well. So, uh, so it's the mobile platforms taking over from from desktop uh, that is uh, very very important, and we see a lot of different uh, new uh, media uh, coming up. Snapchat is one of the biggest for younger people uh, in in uh, in Denmark and the world right now. Um, so we see a lot of, of new platforms uh, coming up. Uh, some of them will stay, and some of them will go again. I think. So just just looking in general, what types of uh, of social campaigns are the most successful uh, from your experience? Again, it depends on on the on the advertiser and the purpose with your um, with, with with your campaign or what you would like to say. So, I mean, very simple display advertising on Facebook can be very very effective because you can be very targeted and you can reach a, a very big audience. So that's one thing if you just want to drive traffic or drive some kind of effect. But I think the most uh, successful uh, uh, social media campaigns we have seen is where, where the advertisers actually uh, are being honest, uh, you know, telling uh, about themselves, opening a little bit up, uh, and uh, showing uh, showing what they would like, and and having this uh, active dialogue uh, with the consumer audience, answering the questions uh, quickly, because we don't want to wait to get our answers. So that's also why we see a lot of negative uh, stuff going on uh, for some advertisers on uh, on Facebook because we have high expe- high expectations and the advertisers will have to have a setup to handle uh, their Facebook. It doesn't help to start a Facebook site and then just leave it there. You you need to have uh, the right setup to to run it. Can you mention a, a, an example of one of these successful campaigns where people have or companies have opened up, been more honest? 
Yeah, I, I mean, the, it's not a Danish example, but the best Facebook case I have ever seen uh, was a French one. It was for a, a, a First World War museum, uh, which is normally not something you would expect actually being very good on, on Facebook. But what they did was uh, they took a starting point in one soldier's life, so one soldier being part of World War I, and they told his story through Facebook. So actually, he was posting stuff every day. He was writing to his girlfriend, he was writing to his, his family, to his friend about how he uh, was seeing the war and how he experienced the war. He was posting pictures about the war. And this was all for, all for, the, for the first World War Museum in Paris, uh, and it was very, very successful. And I think it's a beautiful story, actually using this medium to, uh, to tell your story in a different uh, manner that you will normally, normally do.